Hello. In this video, you will learn about simple probabilities. A spinner with 10 equally sized slices is shown below. The dial is spun and stops on a slice at random. What is the probability that the dial stops on a grey slice? Well, there are 10 slices in total, so this number becomes our denominator. There are two grey slices, so this number becomes our numerator. The probability of grey is 2 over 10. But we have to write our answer in simplest form, and that becomes one-fifth. What's the probability that the dial is spun and stops on a pink slice? We look at the dial, there are no pink slices. So the probability of pink is zero. It's impossible. What's the probability that when the dial is spun, it will land on a grey or a black or a white slice? Well, since all of the slices are either grey or black or white, the answer is 10 over 10, which is 1. It definitely will stop on one of those slices. Finally, what's the probability of not black? Well, there are four black slices. There are 10 slices in total. 10 minus 4 is 6. The probability of not black is 6 over 10. And when we change it to simplest form, it's 3 over 5. The next problem is a little bit more tricky. This time we have a class which has 12 boys and 4 girls. Half of the boys wear glasses. A student is selected at random from the class. What is the probability that the student is a boy with glasses? Well, from the question we see that there are 12 boys in the class. Half of the boys wear glasses. So, half of 12 is 6. 6 of the boys wear glasses. Uh, for the probability, we need the total number of students. 12 boys and 4 girls. That's 16 students in total. The probability that we select a boy with glasses is 6 over 16 or 3 over 8 in simplest form. Thank you.